Where am I? Ah, you're awake. You took quite a hit when Gerard attacked you. I imagine you must still be in a great deal of pain. I can assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zeniths? You must be Tilda. I wasn't sure if... Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Breakfast? Okay. from my collection rescued and stored here just before I went off world take a look if you like I'm curious to hear your impressions my friend is dead Beta and Gaia are gone and you want me to look at old paintings don't be so quick to dismiss done so soon I've got more important things to worry about we both do as much we are trying to save. There you are. Feeling better? How did you find us at the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses, accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it... it rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit? This was your house. The one you recreated for Beta in the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. After everything your people have done, you think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them and live with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. My old focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen... Incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I had to. In order to understand. To be enlightened. You truly are Elizabeth's blood. With her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. 
Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. There. That's better. Now, we must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now, you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship. A complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted. Heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them. Create the world she imagined. <clears throat> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. Silence. Oh, he's been a busy bee, building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Yeah, Regala and her rebels. Even now, she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow Silence to kill him. Along with all the others. Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man, he's planned for everything. Except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way. One that only I know about. While Silence and my friends are busy battling each other, we'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. So you knew Elizabeth. What was she like? Liz was everything she was. I see in you. And more. Your ingenuity, your determination your moral compass. You've managed to distill her greatest qualities and make them your own. I'm not asking about me. Tell me about Elizabeth. What was she really like? The honest answer is that I don't actually know. For all the time that I spent with her, she always kept a part of herself locked away. It was like that from the moment we met. Beta told me your colony was destroyed. That you came back to Earth because you had nowhere else to go. It's true. After we reached our destination, a planet in the Sirius star system, we spent decades building a new home. The physical constraints of Earth, the boundaries of mortality, gone. To think of what we could have done with it. It might have been a utopia. Instead, we stagnated, absorbed in effortless comforts and virtual realities. It took a cataclysm to finally yank us out of our stupor. What happened? A massive geological event. We knew of instabilities in the planet core, but we underestimated them. By the time the collapse was upon us, it was too late to stop it. Only a few of us made it to the ship in time. We set course for Earth the only safe harbor left to us. 
which you decided to make unsafe for anyone else. Not me. Gerard. He believes it's better to wipe the canvas clean than work around the smudges. No more primitive tribes, no more combat machines, only a blank slate to do with as he pleases. But we will stop him. All we have to do is get into that base. First Faro. Now Hekaru and the Tanakh. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice. Sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deeper. Wait. The data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible. We might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it. What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? watching me. I, I, I can't hold it. This extra protection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise. Okay. I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. again when it's time. Can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything. All right. I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silent's army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? With Aragala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? That is between me and my sister. Will be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Rakala's rebellion. From the air. Wait. 
Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh The ancient Horus Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if, when. Aaron, are you there? Aloy! Aloy, is that really you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all... Uh, we're, we're back at base. What happened? It... It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. I, we'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice, Aloy. Let you know I'm now patched into your focus network. Great. I take it the other Zenus can't hear us? Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you were wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire one. Understood. You have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey! Can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Katalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we gonna do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith, Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. 
When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... A gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I... need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Akaro. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you? Whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenith. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. That sounded important. Over here, Aloy. We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and... further east to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala, He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower, gathered its seeds. new life. So it is with the land.
And so it is with us. I'm with child, Evoy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms. And watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... For not giving up on me. He always knew. Goodbye, Farl. I promise to look after them. I'll try to visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. Then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. Did you see Katalo's new arm? I never thought I'd see metal bound to the flesh. This room looks different. That hologram. like a cauldron symbol guy is doing probably just you wait far we're taking those space lugs down Okay, I need to find a sunwing to override. Better head up the mountain.
Good. There are sun wings up here. We'll have to approach them quietly. Hilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient horse titans. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it. Reinforcements, maybe. Heading for the grove. I hope a color on this knock can hold out a little longer. There's a tall neck. Need to get on top of its head. Now, how to land this thing? Okay, Tilda, look over in the tall neck. Good, and the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on Ahorus. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machines should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. the energy cell. Right on the Titan's back. Got the cell. Now on to the grove. The pulse from the Tolnex should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from any horse I fly to. Pretty useful. Even after I deal with the Bella.
Over Chaplin. I gotta drop it now. Here it goes. of the ten. The tide has turned! Push through! End of the line, Hakon. Now on your knees, and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! <laughs> Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're on top of a machine. Well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. Here they come! The fight is just beginning! It ends. Yeah, it is. You died. 
here and now! Here I am again, on my knees before bootlets and cowards. Go ahead, run me through. Shut your mouth, traitor. It was you who flew in on the wings of the Ten. You who challenged her by our rights. You must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. She's dangerous, all right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die, After all that you've done, I can't let you live. Finally. There's something you both need to see, in the throne room. <laughs> he surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the Outlander who defeated Regala. So, state it. It's for her alone. From an interested party. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Regala's bow. May you always strike true with it.
Thank you. Do you have any idea what you've just done? Oh, it's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Xenos. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we were up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. Go on. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths, and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Tilda, you there? I did it. Silence is on board, so head to my base. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. Now that I can fly, I might want to see what else I can do before I head back. You decimated Regal's machine. Talk yourself up all you want. Look at this. Hikaro commands my blade. I hear the battle at the embassy was a true test of blades. I see you, Chad. Please. 